But uh, yeah, the guys did great. 9,000 degree weather. Boy, we could have used this temperature though, couldn't we? Oh yeah. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah, everything's down. We got a little bit of scraps here and there, but nothing stopping us. So, hey, boss, look who's back. Hey, good morning. Hey, let me make sure the audio is working this time. How's it going, Jeff? It's, it's going good, John. How you doing? I can't complain. Good to see you this morning. Yeah, good to see you. What'd you come here to see? Uh, well, I was gonna get in the pool today. Yeah, well, yeah, people keep talking about coming to work on it, but uh. You know, Fourth of July well, holidays. It looks like you got at least an inch in there. Yeah, see, yeah. you can you can you can uh, wait around in there a little bit, get your feet wet. <laughs> if it gets hot out, I just will. Yeah. All right. So there you go, a little bit of steel over here, and uh, the galvanized is for outside. Man, you think I was putting up a Walmart? Can you believe this? This is crazy. Look at that. What's that holding up? Is that the Empire State Building? Bam. There you go. Got a little, little angles. That's nice. That's that 12 beam. That's in the middle. That's the biggest beam. Okay. You're just going to lift it? Throw it on your shoulder, be good. Yeah. What do you think, Mr. Q? This is all right, buddy. This is all Look, right. we already holding water. Yep. Huh? We'll have some little tadpoles and froggies in there pretty soon. Yep, be dead. <laughs> oh, Dummies. I can't get back out now. <laughs> Dummies jump in, but can't jump out. <laughs> yeah. All right, crane's here. Look at that. Guy M. Turner. Yeah. Looks like uh, should be big enough. So, guess we're gonna get something done. All right, not back to the best sound, but should be back to better sound. Uh, the 12, Hero 12 doesn't work with the media mod that works with the Hero 11 for some reason, so. Yeah, John is uh, metal detecting. Well, it, you're, you're off by about 10 feet. Uh, we're set to start stacking this. All right, look at that. Got the uh, setting it, and then you level it out. Yeah, puts all the weight out here on the pads. Give us, us a uh, 
level area to run the crane from. What do you think, James? I try to get a crane so you ain't have to just tote everything over there. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're welcome. Starting to see that we're on to something, feel it coming now. Here we go. So the first one's on. John is uh, cutting out that little slot. Watch out, John. Just keeps our heads up. All right, it's past you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's cutting the slot. Or there's a bracket that bolts into the wall at the top as well. And uh, we'll see. Get this one to where it goes. Setting the beams in. Got them three, well four, out there done. Now they're setting these in.
what I'm talking about. Whoop. I'm growing steel. <laughs> what do you think, John? This is outstanding. Take a look in there. Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we're rolling along now. How you doing? Uh, see? Everybody's great. Good morning, John. Good morning, Jeff. How are you today? Great. It's a brilliant day. It is, right? Literally. 
We got a bunch of steel put up and uh, we got a lot more to go, but it's not bad. The hard part should be done. We're not gonna say 100%, but except for uh, a pocket that got incorrect, but that's all right. That's what we make uh, youngins and uh, concrete uh, drills for. Yeah, you can get up there and start breaking concrete. I'm gonna do it. Go back to bed. I'm tired of looking at you. Thank you. You're the one that woke me up before seven in the morning. Oh my goodness, before seven. You hear that? Yeah. Before seven. Before seven. Like three minutes before seven. And I'm like, it's like there's BC. Millennial life. It's BC and AD, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> huh. Look who I found up at the front. Just kind of hanging out. Deja vu. That's Groundhog Day. Old Donnie wanted to make sure you got that money for him. Are you swimming in the pool yet? No. I know. Is it? Why don't you put the water out the pond in the pool? I should. If if he was smart, he's got a sump pump right beside it. He just take the hose and throw it in there and fill it right up. Yeah, but the concrete's not. Uh, we, we haven't put plaster yet, so it might make my tootsies a little rough. Yeah. See, he gets it. I know, I know how. I, you know the high class ones, I know you know. Yeah, see? I'm glad Vince called. I ain't never kept the high class ones. Well, you know, the work's going on in the back. What are y'all doing? Uh, we got to work up here, and then I'm leaving like normal. Are you leaving me the keys? Because that thing will come in really handy for some stuff I got really to do. Really handy. Really handy. I'll be back there. Good. I should. I should have bought it at the beginning. Well, if you listen to the commenters, I already bought it. <laughs> Donnie's always got a plan. Take it around the block, bring it back. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it's I'm go I'm going to get Bojangles for the crew, so you miss out because you know you got other work to yeah, do. Yeah, you know. Unfortunately, you got you got to go to some paying customers. I got to get you some paying customers. Unfortunately, <laughs> that that uh, fake money in the two box that says not pay the bills. Fake money. What? What? <laughs> All right. Jeff's taking the last little bits off from when we poured the sun shelf. This all gets a waterproof coating too. There'll be like a quarter inch thick and uh, then it gets tiled. So we got that cold joint. I put the water stop here. The, you didn't see it in the video, but the caulk uh, adhesive that was supposed to come with it was not good. It was expired or hard in the can. So I didn't get to do this little wall here, but you know, it's not much pressure, plus it will have the waterproofing on the outside. So not really too worried about it. This is getting there. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. The setting, since we don't have the second floor built yet, the only thing they could set is that beam and the beam beside it. That's it. There was a difference between the final structural drawings and Steel front drawing. So I had some spots we had to uh, remark and redraft that kind of stuff. Overall, pretty happy with it. And uh, you see back here that view. So another crane from Guy M. Turner here today. So getting it done. You got uh, Jake over here running the crane. This is a little bit smaller crane than what we had yesterday. Old Guy M. Turner. Truck driver picking up his trailer. Brought us our uh, shims. Look at that. Look at the life of a of a crane operator. Man, look at that. I need that job. Now nah, he's been good. They put everything together and then they, you know, do their little. Uh, Gems and stuff to get it all plumb and 
There you go. So that's, like I said earlier already, that's all they can do this trip. We'll get the uh, super floor in, and then we'll build the next floor, pour that concrete, and then they'll set the rest if we don't just set it. it depends on what's going on. And uh, yada, 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 so lots of fun. Let's see what they're talking about over here. We uh, got a big old box of steel shims. Need some help? Need help? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, once we know where the hole needs to go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And then I've, I've got the press set up and the fluid and stuff, and I'll drill it. 